Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. Crypto Slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Quick video on eVault.finance with the Encore token. So they had the reverse liquidity event, which a lot of people did not understand what they were actually doing. But what they were doing was supplying liquidity for the launch. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of liquidity at the moment. Um, it's at like six million, sitting at 1279, peaked out around 1500. So the reason I'm making this video, though, is to help people out. There's a lot of confusion in the chat, and I thought that I would just clear it all up. So number one, if um, you were part of the liquidity event, you'll want to know how to claim your tokens. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add these two tokens to your MetaMask, the Encore token itself and the Encore LP token, which will represent your stake. And that's what you're actually staking if you're earning claimable Encore. So to do that, basically, you copy the LP token, copy, go to your MetaMask, assets, scroll down, hit add token, custom token, add the contract address. I already have it in there. Make sure you hit next, next to add token. And then basically you're going to do the same thing for the actual token. So the LP token represents your liquidity on Uniswap. You cannot remove your liquidity. Repeat, cannot remove your liquidity from Uniswap. But what you can do is trade the actual LP token because the actual liquidity is still in Uniswap. You're just transferring ownership from one person to the other and trading it for ETH. So go ahead and add Encore to your wallet as well. Doom, doom, assets, custom token, add token, boom. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to go ahead and hit Control F5. That is going to refresh, force a refresh on the page, and then you're able to claim your tokens. So go ahead and hit Claim this is going to pop up. Now, be careful here. If this gas fee is some stupid, ridiculous number, just make sure you hit edit um, and you know make sure it's a reasonable amount. Now, I will tell you, ETH is a little busy at the time, so you want to go, if you want it, your transaction fast and you don't want to miss out on um, the staking claims, you want to go fast and then advanced and use my bump technique, bump it up a couple extra, hit save. Now, I'm not actually going to do that. So then your basically your tokens, wait for that to um, go around. Now, if you didn't add the addresses from the first part of the video, you're not going to see them in MetaMask, okay? So once that transaction clears, you're going to hit stake. You're going to hit max, and then basically you're going to, um, you know, hit approve first, gas fee, fast, and then stake. And that's it. You're done. You're now earning actual core tokens, um, you know, as basically these are getting locked up in the LP pool. Now, what else? Okay, so now that you have staked, claimed, and staked your liquidity, maybe you just want to trade the actual liquidity pool. Well, there is the um, main balancer pool. As you can see, it's been growing pretty fast. So if you want to provide liquidity to the pool, instead of staking on the vault, you can earn fees in the balancer pool. Now, keep in mind, you're not actually selling the Encore token. You're selling the liquidity of the token, which trades at a discount, okay? Um, and then there were a couple popping up, but what I can tell you is if you're going to add liquidity, I would stick to this pool because it has the most liquidity. And um, based on what Core did, this is this is this pool will grow faster than others. The reason you don't want lower fees on the pool is that just thwarts off bots. Because I saw a smaller pool, but um, I'm not going to get in that because, like I said, it'll be botted um, with the fees really low, and it's just not worth the risk. 
Um, if people want to trade this, it's highly speculative and it's going to be all over the place. Anyways, then with that being said, if you want to buy the LP token and then stake it on the vault or you just um, you just want to trade it speculatively, what you do is you go over to the balancer swap and then you actually take the LP token address and you add it. Okay. And then you can buy or sell the LP token and vice versa on balancer, which is a router just like Uniswap. So the last thing, um, let's talk about if you just fudged up your um, account and you've blasted your, you got stuck transactions and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go over to Etherscan, look at your wallet, and make sure that you don't have any pending transactions, okay? If you do, as always, you want to click on that transaction, and then you're going to find the click to see more, and you're going to look for the nonce, okay? So once you know the nonce of the lowest pending transaction, so some people may have multiple pending attracts, um transactions you need to find the one with the lowest okay then you go over to your metamask you copy your wallet you send yourself uh, zero eth and then what you do is you crank up the gas it's not going to be super expensive hit save hit next you're going to put in that custom nonce. Your advanced controls need to be on to do that. And you hit confirm, and that should wipe out your stuck transaction. And then you can start over again. So that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in there, and we're going to see what Encore does uh, moving forward. As always, like, subscribe. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking. Thank you.